Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Okay, today I've got a really exciting new integration that Trello have just released. Uh, this is gonna allow you to add video comments. So this is gonna be huge, it's gonna be really helpful, especially when you're trying to explain something really complicated. You won't need to write like an essay of a comment anymore. You can quickly record uh, a quick screen recording and then embed that directly into your Trello board and then your, your team can easily see what you meant and hopefully there'll be no more confusion and no more of excessive typing that you that's just really time consuming and painful for everybody. So this integration is with Loom uh, Loom is the software we'll use to record the videos um, and then you can embed them as I said and it's really easy. So let me give you a quick tutorial and show you exactly how, how to do it. But first I want to just quickly mention a free power-up that we have available for you guys. So I'm going to leave this in the description below, uh, a link to it. So it's called Card Delete. It essentially allows you to delete your cards a lot faster. There's no need to archive them first. It's going to add a delete button to your cards so you can quickly delete as many cards as you like. Really simple. So yeah, it's free. It's a bonus power-up, which means it won't count towards your power-up limits on your boards. So yeah, really no reason to, to not give it a try. So um, as I said, there's a link in the description below. And with that all said, let's get straight back to the tutorial. Okay, so now we're on our board, I'm gonna quickly show you how you can add these videos. The eagle-eyed amongst you might have noticed there's a new button added to the bottom of each list. This is for recording these Loom videos. So as you can see, it's still in beta, so there may be some issues, but so far not too bad for me. Um, there's one thing that I've noticed that I'll let you know about in a second. Um, but yeah, this would allow you to add a Loom recording to the list and it will just be added like as a normal card, same as the others here. Um, or you can open up a card and this is where I think they'll actually be used probably more and they can be added as comments. So you can see here's one I did yesterday. If you want to add one of these, you just click on the comment box and again, here's that button. It's been added once more. So we just click on this and then you get the Loom settings open up. So you can choose to use the camera. So there you go, you can see in the bottom left that has appeared. Or you can just do the screen or just the camera even. So, and again, you can just choose the input. So once you're happy, you can start the recording. You can select which window you want to use. Um, in this case, I'm going to choose a tab and just this one here. And then we get the countdown. So now we're re we are recording on Loom. So this would be me kind of doing a screen recording and showing my colleague how to do something or asking them a question about something. And then once you're finished, you just use these controls down in the bottom left. Uh, you could also pause it, which is quite helpful um, if you want to do that. But yeah, otherwise just press stop. So this is now saved to Loom. And I mentioned there's one little issue I've noticed so far. Sometimes this um, insert recording doesn't work. So what I would do is I'd open it up on Loom as well. That's just gonna open it on another tab. Um, you can't quite see that, but if you just copy and paste the URL of that tab, then you've got that um, just in case, because when we press insert recording, okay, so there you go, that's a good example. Um, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, uh, it should just paste the link like this, um, but it, it didn't seem to do it that time. So yeah, good tip, just make sure you've, you've opened that up in the other window, otherwise you might lose your video. Uh, I expect this bug will be ironed out pretty soon anyway, but for now, this is a good tip. You can also just tag a colleague, and then when, when you press save, they'll be notified as usual. But yeah, let's just hit save, and then it's gonna add it. So there you go, it then expands it. So now, your colleagues can come in here, they can view this video from within the comments, which is really nice. Yeah. And they can react using these emojis, which is pretty fun. And one of the best things I think is they can add comments. So they could ask a question um, about whatever, and then add the comment. And then that appears at the exact right point in the video. This is really helpful. You don't have to type in the at two minutes and 33 seconds. I have a question about this. It's all in here already. So that's really nice. So there we have it. That's how you can add video comments or just videos in general on your Trello boards really easily using Loom. Um, if you enjoyed this, as usual, please do hit the like button. Uh, and of course, subscribe if you, if you enjoy this kind of video. And if you have any questions or ideas or requests for future videos, anything I can help you with on Trello, just drop me a comment uh, below and uh, hopefully I can sort that out for you. 
So that's it for today. Uh, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time.